Hello and welcome back to another video of Raspberry Pi Pico tutorial series. So in our previous videos we have covered uh, an interfacing and OLED display and LCD display and we have also implemented I2C and A2C communication with Raspberry Pi Pico. And in this video first we will interface a uh, servo motor with Raspberry Pi Pico and then we will perform pulse width modulation on it. So before going to its uh, working let's uh, first take a look at the connections and uh, the code that we are give, that we are using in this project and uh, then we will test the pulse width modulation by putting the same code that we have. So as you can see here we have interfaced the servo motor with Raspberry Pi Pico and uh, the interfacing is very simple as it has only three pins. So the positive and ground pins are connected to the 5 volt and ground of Raspberry Pi Pico and uh, the signal pin that is uh, the yellow pin of servo motor is connected to GPIO 0 of Raspberry Pi Pico. So now let's uh, move to the code that we are using. So this is the code for performing pulse width modulation on Raspberry Pi Pico. And uh, as you can see here in our first three lines we have imported all the required libraries. So first one, first library is for uh, providing the delay. And uh, second and uh, third libraries are for pulse width modulation and uh, for importing the GPIO pins of Raspberry Pi. Then uh, in next lines, uh, first we imported the pin and PWM. Uh, classes from the machine.py library as I mentioned above so then uh, we have defined a, a function called uh, define duty cycle define set servo cycle so this function can be used to set the position of the servo by passing the position parameter from uh, 1000 to 9000 the value for duty underscore 60 uh, are in microseconds instead of degrees the servo values 100 uh, 1000 to 9000 represent 0 to 180 degree and uh, inside the while loop uh, we are going to first we are using two for loops so first for loop is used to, to set the servo position from 0 to 180 degree and uh, the second loop is used to set the servo position from 180 to de 0 degree so what this what this code will do is first it will move the uh, servo from 180 to 0 degree and uh, then it will move it back to 0 to 180 degree continuously uh, so this is the code so now let's uh, get tied and uh, upload this code on Raspberry Pi Pico. So now the code is uploaded on Raspberry Pi Pico and uh, and as you can see that uh, it is continuously moving the Raspberry Pi from 0 to 180 degree and uh, 180 to 0 degree. So this is how you can uh, perform pulse width modulation uh, on Raspberry Pi Pico. So a complete uh, step by step guide for building this project and uh, the complete code uh, can be found at the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video.